hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for subscribing thank you for staying tuned thank you for watching the videos i'm so excited but unfortunately today i have some sad news we have had 13 cases of the coronavirus in switzerland it's so sad however my prayers um goes out to the families who are affected by the coronavirus and we hope that it will get under control soon, sooner than later. So it's really frustrating because we can't really do anything. We, we just have to stay put. Because of that, I've canceled some of the content I have for the, the channel because it's just not, it can't happen. We can't do anything about it at the moment. But anyways, we have some fruits that we are going to try today. We're going to taste test some fruits. So today what we have to taste test is some um, Fisalis, um, but it has many different names. So Fisalis, some places they call it Cape Goose um, Berry, some places they call it Golden Berry, some places they call it just Fisalis, and some places it's called Inca Berry. Um, the origin of the Inca berry is Peru and so it's also called Fisalis Peruviana, Peruviana. and that's the small berries here we have on the right and um, the other fruit we're gonna taste this is the fig I don't know how many of you have ever tried fig um, but we're gonna taste this thing today all right so let's get started very important for me when I test fruits is to have a glass of water because fruits are usually sweet my instincts are telling me to start with the berries so we're going to start with the berries okay all right so as you can see they are wrapped around by this leaf like thing yeah and basically I've never seen anyone done this. I'm just, I'm just doing it because it's obvious. We don't eat the leaves. We take them off, <laughs> right? So we take them off. Ooh. Ooh. It's kind of strong at this point, and it looks like this. I'm just gonna wash this berry. I have some water next to me right here. I'm gonna wash the berry. I'm also going to cut the inside for you to see how it looks. Inca berry, or whatever they're called. I'm sure they're not grown in Jamaica. I've never seen them before. Mm. Ah! Oh my God, I wasn't expecting. Mm. Well, I thought it was sweet. It's not sweet. It's sour. <laughs> but nice sour. It has a taste of passion fruit. Do you know passion fruit? Kind of have the taste of passion fruit a little bit because of the sourness. But it... The taste isn't very distinctive so there's not I can't really put okay, I need to try another one <laughs> Kind of a passion fruit taste but berry in a berry form mm. so it's passion fruity that's the conclusion mm. so time for the fig so i'm going to try to um figure out the taste of this fig the fig the texture of the fig it's it's soft the outside the skin 
it's soft it feels a bit delicate and one way of eating the fig is to cut it in half of yeah preparing it for eating cutting it in half and that's how it looks okay here goes nothing the skin comes off the flesh very nicely so you don't need a spoon to spoon it out or anything you just peel it off it's like peeling a ripe banana a very ripe banana <laughs> okay so I'm gonna try this some tiny seeds in there when you crush when you chew it you can taste these tiny seeds mm -mm. not for me this fig is not for me I don't even know what it tastes like out of the two fruits I prefer the the um, golden berry the aftertaste of the fig is like tastes like mango Mm. If it was a good fig, if it was a good fig, I have a feeling that it would taste like mango. So the taste of the fig is like a mango that has been picked green and put wrapped in newspaper, put in the cabinet or wherever to ripe, and then you eat it. That's what it is like, very watery and but have a mango aftertaste. That's very weird. Because I would think it have a, it would have a banana aftertaste, but it has a mango aftertaste. Well, that's it for the fruits. I have one more thing I want to try for you guys, and it's caviar. It's not the expensive black caviar you guys might be thinking about. That's the Russian caviar that's very expensive. This is the cheap caviar, <laughs> the cheap caviar, but I, I think I've tried it not like this, not, not taking it with a spoon and trying it, but I've tried it like on sushi, you know when you buy the sushi and they sprinkle some caviar over it, I've tried it like that. So I've never really had the chance to really taste the real the caviar itself. So I'm going to try that today. So to the caviar. Ooh. It smells fishy. <laughs> Yeah, I know it's fish egg. But... Mm -hmm. You know what it reminds me of? You remember, I think back in the days when I was going to school in Jamaica, we we could buy some small bee, some small round ball thing. And then you pour water in it and it gets fluffy. That's what it reminds me of. You used to put them in the, the vase and then put flowers in it. Yeah. Okay, here goes. Is that too much? It's better to try small portions. Tastes like fish. It's salty. Um, it's um, it tastes like red herring. <laughs> That's what it tastes like, really. It's not so bad. It's not bad at all. I wouldn't eat it just like this. I'll put it on some bread or something like that. I'm going to try it on some bread. But it not taste bad. It's very fishy because it's fish egg. Obviously, it's gonna be fishy. I don't know what I was expecting. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Remember 
reminds me of um, Nemo. Somebody laid a when Nemo was born and hit mom. That's it from me today in terms of tasting stuff. I enjoyed the, the berries, did not like the figs at all, and the caviar was good with the bread. Okay, so just some housekeeping. I have some exciting news for you guys. So, you know, when I try fruits or I try food and I or I visit some places, in the videos I don't get the chance to give you detailed information about the fruits that the origin you know the scientific name or the places i go you know there are some more things i would like to tell you so i have created a blog so the platform is for you guys who want to know more about the places i visit or the foods that I've tried the YouTube videos will be on the um, on the blog so you can go from the blog from the website to the YouTube channel and vice versa so I'm excited about that I'm really really excited and I hope that you guys will enjoy this two um, two platforms that I've created for you so that's the end of my video today I would like you to pray for the families who are affected by the coronavirus we make a lot of fun about it and because it's just a common we think it's just a common virus but it is taking loved ones away from their families so please remember even in the midst of the fun and excitement please remember the families of the victims of the coronavirus we need to take this thing serious Remember when you go in public areas, don't touch on things, don't shake hands, don't, you can greet people, but don't shake hands. And remember to always wash your hands and use your hand sanitizer and keep safe people. This coronavirus, it's going around and country by country. And it's very scary because for me, it's, it's in the country that I live in. So let's be safe, let's keep safe. And until we meet next time, keep safe, okay? Goodbye. Mwah.